This is Twit. Everyone wants to talk about their own machine learning, but Google is clearly winning this war, as Jeff Jarvis said on This Week in Google earlier today. He or she who has the most data sets wins the war. Right now, that winner is Google. And today, CEO Sundar Pichai revealed a new machine learning chip in service called Cloud TPU. It's aimed at beating Amazon and Microsoft at the cloud computing game. And as the winner in this so-called war, Google is now giving back. Today, they said they would give a cluster of 1,000 cloud TPUs to researchers for free. Researchers or students can use TPUs or TensorFlow processor unit, that's what it stands for, to train and inference tasks. Google's effort is intended to raise interest in machine learning and eventually to increase the use of Google's cloud services. If you're interested, you can fill out a questionnaire with some basic information about the size and type of your training sets. The formal application process will begin soon, says TechCrunch. This was exciting. I can't say that I completely understand, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it sounds great. Well, the basic idea here, um, and th this is actually one of my kind of gripes with uh, with the keynote today. Uh, uh, as you mentioned earlier, uh, Stacey Higginbottom and myself basically did a play-by-play -play live analysis of the keynote as it was happening. Now, this is one of the most exciting announcements they had at the I.O. keynote, but Google really didn't do a great job of translating to the regular people watching out there or just the tech enthusiasts what this could actually mean uh, for future products. But basically the idea is to build out any sort of AI and machine learning. Um, you really have to feed it, like you said, tons and tons of data. And uh, this steps up the processing game uh, a ton. Uh, now I'm, I'm doing this off memory, but I think basically it's essentially like having 64 different uh, um, processing units going at the same time. There's been a hurdle before where it was kind of limited to, to like eight and then 16. And so this is a, a significant leap. And so they'll just be able to, to process through a lot more data quicker. Um, and if, if they can move through this quicker, the idea is that their system could grow. And if you want to do something with machine learning, you're going to want to go to Google's uh, cloud services. At least that's the sell. That's the promise. Now, what that could actually result in, the idea is, is better products. What those products will do uh, and what problems will help us solve, how they'll make our lives better. Google didn't really say. They basically just said, hey, this is where it's all going. And if you want to build out this sort of technology, come do it with us. And that is kind of the point of a developer's conference is to sell developers. Mm -hmm. So it could be uh, curing cancer. It could be an internet connected salt shaker. You decide. It could be it could be lots of different things. So we'll see where it goes. Um, but uh, but yeah, this this was this could be like a, a big turning point uh, uh, for 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 Google and for for AI. And but again, they didn't really quite communicate that the right way.